Oh, I'm tired today, I am. Really tired. Woke up this morning. Got myself freshened up. Trying to wake myself up. Watched a bit of uh, YouTube. Went outside, I'm thinking. It's a bit fucking nippy out here, isn't it? Got my torch on the goo as I'm walking across the grass, and there we are. It's all frosty, and thinking, ah, balls. And as I walked to the car, yes, of course, the car was absolutely iced over. Brilliant. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's what I was greeted with this morning. I'm thinking, that's it. Fucking weather's turning now. It's going to be fucking freezing all the time. It'll be cold. Ice in the fucking windows and pissing about and dithering your tits off, never getting bloody warm water. I hate winter time, I it's fucking wank. Fucking, I'll tell you what, fucking roll on, fucking global warming is what I'll say. Fucking load of bollocks. Well, when I got in my car this morning, right, I it, something was was off. It just felt really bizarre. I um, I've got the engine running after because I've scrapped all the windows and I've got the um, the uh, front Windsor screen heater thingy because mine's electric. It's good. And it just goes dead good. So I hadn't got to scrap that wind at least, but I'll scrap the other ones out. And uh, I'm sitting in the car after I've done all that. And uh, my dashboard was, it had got on the uh, little screen at the bottom, it was like a little screen on the left hand side. It gives you like your, your miles, your miles per gallon, your fucking temperature and all that, all that bollocks. Well, it's there. And um, I'm looking at it, and it's saying, um, 252 miles till I need to put some fuel in. And I'm just like, okay, that's weird. I don't remember leaving that on there. It's very odd. Anyway, so then I'm I'm sitting there again. I'm look, still looking at the screen, and I look at the other side of the screen, and and you know when you the, the uh, trip meter. Oh, and you zero it. It's zero, isn't it? That's what you should do, isn't it? You, you zero it, then you do some manoeuvring around a bit, and the gauge will count up. But what I don't understand is how it was on zero when I was at, I was sat on my drive. My, well, my, my gathering of slabs, I shall call it. And um, I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, how come that's on zero? That don't make sense. That's on 250 fucking miles before I empty. I was just over half a tank. Because on that fucking, what's that? That's near, <laughs> nearly not, what, knocking on 500 miles on a full tank, if that's the case. I'm scratching my head now thinking, that don't make sense. So much gone off here. Why would that be on zero when I use the car on Friday night? I didn't use it any other time, Friday night. So why is it on zero? I have no idea. Why is that on there? So then I'm, I'm thumbing, pressing the little button on the, on the stick to um, change it to the temperature. And as I scroll through and it comes to the temperature, it's now in Fahrenheit. Now I'm really, really starting to fucking, I'm like, has somebody been in my fucking car? Fucking about with it or what? Because this is odd. I always have it on Celsius all the time, but it was on, um, I think it said 28 uh, degrees Fahrenheit it said um, and I'm like so it's been either fucked about with or what I don't know or my conclusion to it or my my theory I should say as to why that's happened is when I got the engine running and I press the um, de-icer on the front screen. I've got a funny feeling that might have done something to the computer, the actual car itself, and zeroed the clock. 
it didn't zero the miles the car's actually done, just the trip meter. And for some well now reason, it decided to stick the um, what's name onto how many miles I've got left before I fill up and change it to Fahrenheit instead of Celsius, which I found rather odd. Mm, but why would that do that though? I mean, I didn't go in the car in the weekend, I'm sure I didn't. I had all intentions of going out the weekend because on Saturday, um, where's my thing gone? On Saturday, I was supposed to have been at the hairdressers at 12 o'clock. But because it was 12 o'clock, I completely forgot. Because I was faffing, doing what I'm doing, and watching someone or pissed about with someone else. And, because it's in the middle of the, the, the day, I tend to get sidetracked and I forgot. That's why I prefer it in the morning, so I know I can get up, go and get it done, come back, and have, that's the end of it then, isn't it? So, I've got to give him a ring and uh, rebook it. Oh, I was well pissed off with that. It's gone upside down, the idiot has. Oh, what's it like? Oh, well, never mind. So I've got to give them a ring again and book. That's why I'm, that's why I'm looking a bit, uh, a bit, you know, Dishevelled a bit of need. Yeah, but um, I was watching, what was I watching now? Something, something, is it the curious adventures of uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch? Do you know what? Actually, I was quite impressed that it was all right, that was. They've gone on a bit of a bit of a darker path, it's um, yeah, I mean. When I was younger, and uh, what was her name now? Um, fucking something. Uh, so what was her name again? Something Mel Melissa. Melissa. Something. Melissa Joan. Was it Melissa Joan Hart? That sounds about right. Um, and Salem the cat. I mean, Salem used to crack me up. I mean, I, every time that fucking cat spoke, it was just the shit that he come out with. It was hilarious. Anyway. Um, Obviously, knowing what that Sabrina is like compared to this Sabrina, it's a lot of uh, light-hearted humour to uh, chopping your heads off and shit and slicing throats. It's fucking brilliant. Yes, so there's a. It's definitely a, a different kind of twist to it. It's uh, it's not bad actually. So um, if you want to watch it, go watch it. I'd recommend that anyway. I think it's cool. <coughs> yeah, very cool indeed. Oh, I can't remember what else I was doing. I wasn't, really, I wasn't doing anything that was um, over the top. I mean, I was watching a lot of the um, them fucking what do you call it uh, documentary kind of like who done it on YouTube, like the um, forty eight hour stuff. Like, so I'm I'm fucking obsessed with that shit. I tell you, I really am. Thing is, though, because it's on YouTube and you can only you can only get it on YouTube, and it's there's a lot of either either the quality ain't very good, right? Because whoever's uploaded it thinks for some unknown reason we live in the fucking 1960s and the, the aspect ratios wank and the fucking um, resolutions an absolute sack of shit. But uh, other than that, but um, yeah, there's one series that I'm looking at when I. When I if I can get as many as I can on YouTube, and that's the um, what's it called? Um, Evil lives here. I tell you what, you know, fucking hell, you, it's it's a great um, little uh, insight to uh, how these uh, individuals do sort of. How can I put it? They're kids to start with, these, these people who end up killing people or whatever they do. They are kids to start with. But as it states on the thing, when it blacks the screen, the writing comes across the screen, blah, blah, blah. But there were signs. That, that always sticks in my head because it says, but there were signs. Yes, there were signs, but unless you can see them, you've got no fucking chance. And um, so, of course... Um, you're watching some of these uh, story, well, stories are being told by the people who were, or a person that was involved in it. And it's fucking, oh man, scary. 
absolutely scary. It really is. It does make you wonder. It really does. It makes you wonder. When they just look at you, you know, as, as a young kid and they're looking at you as like as though you just don't exist. <coughs> Throwing these uh, violent tantrums and you think thinking, say, well, it must be just a spoiled kid. Now, it's just fucking got out in there. There's just nothing at all. He's just a shell of a person like an ami. <laughs> you know, ask him what an emotion is. He'd have no fucking clue what it is, honestly. But these... Yeah, and this one young lad had, uh, he ended up, I think he, he went into a mall and uh, he shot a bunch of people with uh, an AK-47. Yeah, totally destroyed his family, which he will do, wouldn't he? Because just everybody else was perfectly fine, apart from that one, that, that kid. He was just, meh. Obviously, he was a lot older when he started. He was, I think he was 19, I think he was. But it's such a sad story to, to see, like, and you try to help and you try to do what you can and there's just no hope for these individuals because their brain chemistry is completely fucked. Yeah. Oh, well. Not to worry. But I find them fascinating. Sad, but fascinating. And it just makes you think to yourself how lucky you are, you know, I mean, that, you know, the life that you do have and you, you it might be boring. Mm, I, I, I'm boring. Or it might be that uh, you, you struggle a little bit. Yeah, I struggle quite a lot. But you ain't had to deal with that kind of crap. No, definitely not. I bet if they could go back in time, mate, the fucking, it would have been sent away into a mental institution and, you know, rubber padded cell and all that sort of shit. Like, you know, shove them in there, that'll do. Ta-ta. I don't suppose lobotomies are still around, are they? Because I think there's a few individuals that they could do one. <laughs> <Nah. coughs> Dear. Well, that, that's the sort of thing that I like anyway. But, you know, but. It's one of my other channels I like to watch as well that I subscribe to. Seems to have gone a little bit. Um, how can I put it? Dull is the is is realistically the only word I can I can describe it as because I'm I'm watching them and it just it's not something's changed because he's not the same as he was before. That's the old uh, security in ten. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like watching some of the things he does, but there's a lot of things I've been watching him late. So a handful of videos and they just seem to be a little bit drab. I don't know, not interesting. Seems to like I think he's losing he's losing his uh, his. his Umph. I don't know. A bit like me. I still watch them though. Uh, well, this weekend I, I also decided to have myself a good old pig out. Yes, I stuffed myself stupid with all sorts of crap. That was on the, uh, that was on, was it on Saturday? No, <laughs> Friday, right. Because um, I went, I was in here with John. We was talking about all sorts of garbage, which I've I've actually done a drive along video. It's not done yet. I haven't actually put it together yet because it's a three hour fucking drive along. So I'm going to drop it into three parts. I think, which make it it'll just make it easier for me. And um, we was talking about food and something at one point. I'm sure he was. And. Um, <laughs> I was like, one of my favourite was a cheese and onion sandwiches, Branston pickle. Oh man! Now of course, when I got home, what could I? What was I? I had to have one, but I didn't want the bread, so I got myself some wraps, and I made myself some cheese and onion with Branston pickle wraps. Fucking hell, man! There was nice, but Jesus, did I regret it? I really did. And then I went out on the Friday night as well to the club round the corner. It was. Um, Apparently it was an Halloween party, and I didn't even know it was. Um, but because it was close to Halloween, well, which is like in two days' time, is it? Um, I decided to put my uh, my T-shirt on, which has got the the glowing rib cage on it. Like so, I put that on just as you know, just in case. And then I got there, and there was all in fancy fucking dress. I'm thinking, good grief. Well, at least I did something. There were some really good costumes out here. 
his sister was uh, all gussied up a bit like the uh, how can you put it what would it be do you know I don't even know what you would call it actually hmm gypsy kind of thing maybe in that kind of route sense I, I think it was more of a, a bit of a gypsy kind of thing I think I don't know Um. yeah the yeah I don't know I really don't know what it was what kind of yeah well, let's just leave it at that I think it was that anyway I'm not sure but um my nephew and his mate, they them pair was dressed up like Ghostbusters. <laughs> Fucking funny that was. Oh dear, absolutely hilarious. I mean, um, Jace's mate, his missus, she was dressed up a bit like, um, how can I put it, a bit like um, a dead bride is the only thing I could put it as. She got this, all this fancy dress on, this uh, black veil. And it put herself a, a bullet towel in her head. <laughs> Not a real one, by the way. Uh, this is all makeup and stuff. And it was uh, it was very good, very good indeed. It was really gone to town. They were just Abby had got herself in like a. Um, she looked like a fortune teller's kind of get up. It was the ah, oh, she looked well cool. They got all this paint work on, and, and there was a few others in there. They got onesies on with their these yeah it was quite good it was all right actually some people made it a right you know some real good effort for a change there well then that was that and then it's around about 11 o'clock after i've been yawning my head off for the last half an hour i thought fuck this i've got to go home so i went home and then went to bed and then got woken up at fucking half past two in the morning because of them twats next door um, I don't know what happened. It sounded like some fucker fell down the, the second flight of stairs, which is, you know, on the other side of my wall in my bedroom. I tell you what, man. Hmm. Still my head in. But unfortunately, there's not a lot I can do about it. <sighs> I managed to drift off again around about after three o'clock ish. And then um, I got up. I think I, got, I think it was around about eight in the morning. I got up around eight o'clock. I think it was faffed about and completely forgot about going to have my haircut until it was around about half past six. Half past six. I went, oh fucking hell, man! I was supposed to have a fucking week job today. Wank. Because I was I was mulling over what I was supposed to do. So when I went to bed, before I got rudely awakened by arse fucks next door, um, I was mulling over what my day was going to be like and what I was doing. And I was saying, oh, if I go there, go me there. You know? And then, yeah, I got up and started doing something. And I was watching this and doing that. And then I completely forgot about it. Yeah. But I did have a, a lovely pig in session. Yes, I had... Uh, few cakes here and there, <laughs> a bit of, um, did I have any chocolate? I think, yeah, I had some chocolate as well. This is through the day, I didn't have it all in one go. Um, what else did I have? It was quite nice, something I hadn't had for a while. Oh, fucking hell, I remember. But then Sunday, I calmed it down. I had myself some cereal in the morning. I had myself some cereals around about, because I did get up early, I think I was up around about half five, maybe, I think, possibly, something like that. Because I'd gone to bed, but I was, for so I just woke up, and that was it. I thought, I fucking want to get out of bed now. But because the clocks had gone back, I got that extra air in anyway, so, anyway. Um, I think it's around about mid, mid-morning. 11 o'clock ish I had some more cereals just you know keeping it and I think then around about 2 o'clock I had some more cereals <laughs> I was basically waiting and biding my time because I wanted to join easy so uh, to, <laughs> at uh, quarter past 5 I ordered myself a Chinese and that turned up at around about uh, Ten to six, maybe some like that. So then I scoffed that, which was absolutely unreal. It was fucking red hot as well. That's the best thing about it. 
I was, uh, you know, when they, they turn up, it's it's not exactly piping hot like it am, but this this was fucking warm. It was. It was very nice indeed. And uh, once I'd stuffed that damn in neck, I felt as fat as a fucking pig. I tell you, absolutely. And uh, but then knowing what I'm doing today, because I've um, we haven't had nothing, nothing at all. So from let's say half past six yesterday i've had nothing nothing at all i'm doing me uh me, me fasting again like i did the other the other week that really works well that does i'm telling you really works well and then i'll do this day if 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 i'm feeling up to it i might even stretch it to another day like i did because it's it's uh it's really good <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. You can definitely um, feel the the differences when you do it like that. I don't know. I needed to do it myself anyway. This uh, to to stop and uh, get myself some weight off me. Right, this is not what the intention was. It was just a happy bonus. I wanted to have a bit of a reset because of the way I've been feeling the last few months and uh, so I just started down to eat F detox your system and see what happens and obviously when I was yakking about this uh, autophagy thing and uh, finding out what that's all about and I thought well that's interesting isn't it really you know, so fuck it let's have a go and see how far we can get uh, uh, the only drawback I found is that it gives me a headache well, it did do anyway. Um, when I did the two day one, on the second day, my head was fucking bouncing, it really was, absolutely bouncing. But two cup of coffees and a couple of cream cakes later, fine as a fucking wine. So, you know, I did that and then I decided to have another go at 24, which I've probably mentioned anyway before. And I'm gonna do it again this time. I'll see what I can do. I just want to get my arse back in my biking gear. Not that I'm going to be fucking using it anytime soon, but uh, I'm getting too fat for my biking gear. I can't get in. Right. I need a shoelace. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. What am I doing with this brake yet? Twenty-five past. Apparently, um, it ain't due till two o'clock, so I'm gonna be on the on the bay for this collection. And uh, yeah, they sent me an ear. Says uh, picking up a boat well, says, and uh, I went, all oh, right. Here's you pick up a trailer. And I went, I oh, very fucking much doubt it. What do you mean? I says, uh, there's, there's no way there'll be a trial ready. Never is. Well, they have of late. I says, well, there won't be when I'm fucking there. Did you ever have that situation where you do, you know, if you're working somewhere, right, everybody else seems to be, it's a piece of piss, and then you're the one who always ends up struggling all the time. I mean, I seem to get that quite a lot. It's like, you could guarantee the job that I would, the number, say if there's, let me just, this is how it, how it is, right? Let me just point it out for you. Let's say there's four four trailers that are um, in here. Three of them are loaded, okay? And not one of those are the ones that I want. You can guarantee it. So I'll be sat here thinking, what the fuck? Can I be, now there's somebody coming for it? Can I be there? Now there's somebody coming for it? Is there somebody coming for all of them? Yes. Fuck, you got to sit away a bit. Yeah. Guaranteed every time. Ah. But at least I can sit here, yak to you a lot, and spout about all sorts of shit. Like this morning, I um, I bumped into um, one of uh, my subscribers. Apparently, well, he says how do you subscribe, which I found that a lot of strange, but nice chap. He um, 
He says, I'll watch you over there. I'll be watching some of your round ones and you're thinking, <laughs> fuck me, see now as I'm like then. Oh dear. But uh, yeah, had a good out chat. Oh dear. Because I don't, I don't mind having a good out chat, me. I mean, even though I was wanting to get to ghoul, but I like chatting. What I could have done with him is sticking the fucking thing on break while we was having a chat. That'd have been nice. But never mind. He's uh, he, he works for Stale Barts apparently because it was at uh, Canuck when I met him and uh, he was having a good old conversation about this, that, and the other as you do. Just shoot the breeze. Oh, oh man. Does anybody else hate fucking hanging around? I know I do. Uh, just watching your life evaporate in front of your eyes it does my head in clouds whizzing by it's like yeah well you know reverse backwards i want my time back that i fucking wasting sat here twiddling my fucking thumbs no unfortunately down work i don't know There's nothing exciting, is there? No. Never is. I mean, I suppose one day there'll be a, an alien invasion. That'll be exciting and scary, but fucking exciting. Won't happen while we're alive, though. Nah. Ah, that was the other one I was watching on uh, Netflix, talking about aliens. Salvation. That's the one. Yes, I just have, I do hope that there's a season three because it was season one and two on there. So you never know. I'm going to be on my list anyway to watch. So yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Where's my thing gone? Shit, won't I think. Eat me. Yeah, salvation. I've already watched uh, seasons, uh, season one, and then I've finished off watching season two yesterday. I mean, it, it might have might end up being cancelled for a guess, but uh, I just binge watched the fucking. Because I didn't even realise it was back on. To be fair. When I'd, uh, I'd looked, I think it's Salvation. Oh, looks interesting, let's have a look. And when I seen season one, of which, which was already on, I'm looking, I'm thinking, well, I've already watched these. When did I fucking watch this thing? What's this all about? <coughs> so then I stuck the uh, the last um, episode on season one. I went, ah, that's what it is. And it jogs the old bonds, and then I'm like, great. So then I uh, stuck on uh, season two and watched all them. Binge watch. That's probably why I fucking missed my uh, hairdresser's appointment because I was watching that. Makes a lot of sense. But the uh, the end episode was pretty darn cool. I just like I say, it is that good that it's the type of thing that you, you definitely want to have um, a season three. Because if you haven't got a season three, that would be one hell of a shitter. Yeah. Other than that, though, I don't know. Alienist. I watched a handful of, handful of episodes of The Alienist. No, I didn't. I watched them all. It was all right. Mm. I might even have a go at watching that uh, make, Making a Murderer. I'm going to turn that off. I'd nice and leave it on. Making a murderer. It's uh, definitely uh, a scary one, that. No doubt. Amount of apps that I've got open on there is untrue. There we go. That's better. Sorted. Ooh. 
15, 15 new notifications on uh, YouTube. <sighs> it always makes me smile when somebody uh, watches one of my old videos and some of the comments that they put on them. And this, this one here was from uh, when was this one published? Last last July it was about um, I think this is about the industry in in, a, in whole and I was waffling on about the CPC crap again, which I normally do, don't I? I find it fucking ridiculous, but hey, that's my opinion. I'm sticking to it until somebody out there can prove me wrong that the CPC is actually worth the paper it's fucking printed on. Then yeah, great, brilliant. Awesome stuff, but it's not. It seriously isn't. I mean, apparently, I mean, uh, I was talking to the guy when I did this CPC. He says that, um... <laughs> fuck's sake. Oh, dear me. <laughs> oh, that's cool, that is, aren't that? That's hilarious. I'm gonna share that on. That's fucking brilliant, that is. Share now. That's hilarious. <laughs> hey, just look on Facebook, you'll find it. It'll be there somewhere. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, get rid of that. That's not a bother. No, 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 no. Don't need to worry about that. Turn that shit off. Well, I think I better go. Got nothing else to talk about. I've bored you enough. I mean, before I do go, um, being as I hadn't driven this thing for a week, it was uh, very tidy inside. I mean, I could do the bit of a blow out but um yeah rather refreshing to get into the thing that I haven't been in for a week and it's nice and clean still after I'd spent all that time doing it which was quite nice. Oh well yeah I'm going. I've got nothing else to talk about. I ain't gonna sit here boring the tits off you. That wouldn't be fair would it now. Right, I'm going. See you later. Bye. Ta ta